quick second. Bro, out of Doha Zero Episode 3. That was awesome. Again. <laughs> they killed the cataphranked, okay? Um, actually, let me go ahead and calm down and get into the actual review. But before I do that, holy shit. When the princess transformed and when all of the music, music in this episode was outstanding. This music is better than Guilty Crimes. It's at that, le or it's at least at that level so far. And with the same producers, I think it can surpass that level of of music wise. I don't know if you you know Guilty Crown and this they're on terms of like core and stuff. They're really damn close. But uh, let's actually get into the review and the plot and stuff. Everyone has made it to the school. Inoho's sister Yuki is lying in bed and wakes up with a little injury to her arm. She hears of Inoho fighting and is in shock, but what can she really do at this point? Mardo is trying to stop everybody from leaving at the base as Yuki and Inoho's group are still left behind at the school, fighting to help everyone escape. Mardo um, succeeds and will be giving a rescue team. In short, Yuki tries to prevent um, Inoho from trying to do the situation, but we end up figuring out how smart Inoho is any um, blah, 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 how smart Inoho is anyways. Due to the fan, uh, due to the plan that he drawn up, uh, I can't even speak. This episode was so fucking good. <laughs> um, so I believe that his motivation for vent, um, his motivation was vengeance for Okisuke, and that seems to be a case as we figure out at the end of the episode. Um, he seems really hurt, and after hearing this, even Yuki turns to help Inaho's plan. So that even shows you how good it is. We also learned that the Martians are kind of like um the Espers from Tokyo ESP. They really don't care for human life. They have no regard for it. And they even threatened to blow up the whole area if they could not find Inaho's group. After getting information on the um, Martian cataphrank, Inaho was actually able to figure out the entire reason why that shield can't be damaged. Pretty much, um, any type of kinetic or radial damage does nothing to the cataphrank, which is also the reason why the force field is on its surface. But the force field is only controlled by the cataphrank. It, the force field itself actually impairs sight, and there's another person um, guiding the cataphrank to where to go. So in short, he can't. the Martian can't see inside the cataphrank or the mech. He has cameras to let him see. That is actually how they win. What ends up happening is they impair the um, cataphrank's vision at the end of the episode, or near the end of the episode. And then they find a weak spot within the barrier after drawing him into water as because it's so easy to find a weak spot. The shield, it's not technically re wearing down, but it's revealing weak spots. It's showing you where the water can pass through and where it can't. Anywhere that the water couldn't pass through, it would be obvious, but if it did pass through anywhere, you could actually see the water going inside, and it was actually near the thing's armpit. It's a really smart concept, and it's even more amazing in my eyes that Inaho could understand it. And it seemed that even everybody was... They were all willing to sacrifice their lives earlier on in the episode, as long as it meant taking out the Martian cataphrank. And... I just love it. I just love the anime. This is by far now my favorite anime of this of this summer. Tokyo ESP was there for it, the first episode. It's the, it was the best first episode. Aldino Zero so far is the best series. I think I would probably put Gun Gale Online within like my top five. But oh my gosh, can I just fangasm more over the music? The music came in and there was, it was like playing for like three to five minutes and it was so damn good. It was gorgeous. I want more. If there is a soundtrack that is released for this anime, I will pick it up. Day one. I will pre-order it. It will come in the mail. <laughs> That's the best part of this anime. And when the princess transformed, like I said before, I shit myself. I went, ooh. I love the princess. I love the princess. Vera's Illusia. She's now part of the harem. You know, she's part of my harem with Shinon, Azuna, Luis. You know, uh, now she's part of that too. You know, Vera's Illusia. Hashtag, uh, uh Martians and shit. No. <laughs> Anyways, that's my review over Aldino Zero episode three. Thank you guys for watching. Watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment. I think Mahoka is uploaded. It probably is. Let me check. Yep. As soon as I always finish these, Mahoka's always there. So I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!